you know, you talk a lot about letting go. You know, I, I enjoy that in your in your speeches. You know, you've got that famous <laughs> hand movement, uh, letting go. If something is, you know, you pause and you ask yourself, is it worth it? Right. And then if it's not, then you just let it go. Let it go. But if if you had to, from all your years of work with leaders from all around the world, different backgrounds, different mm. ethnicities, different countries, what is the that one piece of advice that you can say, this is something that is a great trait for a leader to have? I know there's so many that you mentioned in your book, but it's like, where's that starting point? What's that I one thing you can start with? Step one is learn how to ask. Because Peter Drucker, who was a great mentor of mine, was a father of modern management. And although I got ranked number one leadership thinker in the world, my intellect compared to his was that of a 10 year old. So he's a very, very smart man. And he said, the leader of the past knew how to tell. The leader of the future is going to know how to ask. So learn to ask and get over your ego mm. and realize there are probably other people that know more than you. So just learn how to ask and listen to people. And then if you look at our stakeholders in our coaching to follow up and get better. So I think the first step is ask. As simple as that. Yeah. And I, I, I came across this uh, statement once that the ego, you know, someone gave an acronym of exaggerated glorification of oneself. Right. You know, and uh, I thought that was very apt. 